Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In this particular video, I will explain a very interesting problem which is number of one bits. So the problem is asked by companies like Microsoft, Samsung, Qualcomm, etc. So here is the problem statement, pretty simple and straightforward. It says that you are given a positive integer n and you have to count the number of set bits in the binary representation of the number. So one example is given here. The example says that you have a number 6 and you have to count the number of set bits in it, right? And writing the binary representation of the number, so I will have 110. And here, if you count the number of set bits, then we have two set bits, right? So the output is going to be two here. Now, I hope you have understood the problem statement. So let's talk about the solution now. Okay, so I have written one example here. And after looking at the problem explanation, you will find that the first approach is pretty simple. All we can do is we can convert the uh, number into the binary representation first and then we can simply count the bits which are one, right? So if you are someone who don't know how to convert a number into its binary form, so I'm going to give a, a brief explanation on that. Let's say I have the number 10, right? So what we do is we keep dividing the number by 2. So first if I divide the number by 2, then I will have 5 and the remainder will be 0, right? And after this, again, I divide the number by 2. So I have 2, right? And remainder is 1 here. And again, if I divide the number by 2, then I will have 1 here, 2, 1 times 2. And then the remainder is 0, right? So after this, if I again divide the number by 2, then I will have 2, 0 times uh, 0, right? 2, 0 times 0, and then the remainder is 1. Okay, so we are concerned about the remainder. The remainder are going to give us uh, the binary re representation. Let's write them. I'll write from uh, like bottom to top. So I'll have 1, 0, 1, 0. So these are the, uh, this is the binary representation of the number 10. And if I count the number of set bits, then the number of set bits is 2 here, right? Okay. But the question is, as a programmer, we need to write programs, right, that computer can understand. So how to convert this thing into a code? This is the question. The task is quite simple. See, we are, we keep dividing the number by 2 till we get a 0, right? So if you have a number n, if you have a number n, so we can run a loop while our number becomes 0. So I'll do while n is greater than 0 or n is not equal to 0, right? What I'll do is I'll simply, okay, so let me move this toolbar here. And what I'll do is, I'll simply uh, keep dividing the number by 2. This is what we are doing here. And after this, uh, even before this, we keep track of the remainder as well, right? So we need to get the remainder. Let's say I have the remainder because re ultimately remainder is something which is going to give us the binary representation, right? So we need to keep track of remainder. Remainder is going to be n mod 2. Right, and once we have got the remainder, all we can do is instead of uh, doing this thing, we can uh, count here only. We can count here if we have a uh, like bit as one or remainder as one, then we can count increase the count. So let me write it. I'll simply write one thing if my remainder, if my remainder is equal to one, then this is going to give us a one bit, right? You can see here, this is going to give us a one bit. So we need to count this, we need to count this. Initially we will have the counter as 0, so answer equal to 0 and here we are going to do answer plus equals to 1. Answer will increase by 1 and at last we need to return the answer. So this is all we can do for the first approach, right? And talking about the time complexity of this approach, so see here we are dividing the number by 2 and we are traversing through each remainder or I'll say each bit, right? So the complexity will be O of all bits or or I'll write O of log n log base 2n why because each time we keep dividing the number by 2 so how many times it is going to run it is going to run O of log n right okay so now I hope you have understood this particular approach and there's a problem with this approach the problem is let's say we have a uh, 20 bits so I have something like 0 1 0 0 0 one zero then one one zero zero up to 20 right and at last we have one so we will traverse through each bit if you notice here we are going to traverse through each bit even the zero bit as well 
but what if we have a method which is going to uh, iterate through only one bit so you can see that it is going to be a great optimization right because we are going to skip some iterations and this is going to reduce the number of iterations so let's see that particular approach okay so the approach that i am going to explain now is going to be brian kanigans algorithm so this is really important and popular algorithm which are which was given by brian kanigan and this algorithm says that instead of iterating through each of the bit you can skip uh, some iteration and you can only count the number of bits by traversing through the ones only right set bits only let's see how we can do this so again let me write the same number which is n equals to 10 right and for this number the binary representation is 1010 right okay now let me write n minus 1 so n minus 1 is 9 and the binary re representation of 9 is going to be 1001 okay so now what is the difference between the binary representation of these two the first two bits are same right and after this one and at this one the bits got flipped you can see that the zero becomes one then and the one becomes zero so there is a difference right okay so let me take one more example uh example is let's say i have a number 6 so the binary representation is 110 and then if i do n minus 1 which is 5 so i'll have 101 right okay again see here after this one i have got the bits flipped right okay so this is the observation made by the brian kanigan who said that hey whenever we reduce a number by 1 then the bits after and at the rightmost bit get flipped right you can see here that after the rightmost rightmost bit the bits get flipped and even at the position of rightmost bit so this is the observation made by brian kanigan he said that if we have n and n 1 then the bit after and at the rightmost bit will get flipped right okay so now if i perform the end operation between these two then you can see that these two uh, will get cancelled right and these two are going to remain same so i will have 1 0 and here i will have 1 0 0 so this is very important thing to observe this thing says that hey whenever i perform end operation between n and n minus 1 then the rightmost set bit gets unset you can see here that this one has become zero now right and all bits are going to remain same so this is very important observation made by brian kanigan who said that n and n minus 1 operation operation will unset the rightmost bit the rightmost set bit right rightmost set bit and we can use this observation to count the number of set bits let's see how so let's say we have a binary representation of a uh, 10101100111 right and 001 this is the binary representation that we have and we need to count the number of set bits so all we need to do is if this is representing a number n so we can perform end operation of this number with n minus 1 right and if we do so then this this is the rightmost bit this bit will get unset right in the first iteration we will have this bit as unset so we can increase the counter by 1 we let's say we have a counter right so we can increase the counter by 1 after this this will become 0 and now this is the number that we have and again if we perform the same operation then you will notice that this is the rightmost bit now this will get unset right so now the counter is 2 and this will get unset similarly all the bits are going to get unset each time when we perform the iterations right and this is going to give us the number of uh, like set bits we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 right so at the end our counter will be 8 now this is really interesting because we are skipping the iteration through these zeros right and we are only iterating through the ones how to implement this thing implementation is quite simple if we have a number n so we are going to run while n is greater than 0 and what we are doing is we are simply performing n equals to n and n minus 1 this is the operation that we are performing right and 
this way we are able to unset the last bit the rightmost bit right and we need to increase the counter so answer is going to uh, plus plus and initially the answer is equal to zero so this this much simple right and this is the optimization uh, optimal approach that we have and complexity of this approach is o of number of one bits right so this is the uh, algorithm that we have and talking about the worst case complexity so, so the worst case complexity is whenever we have all the bits bits at set right so this way i will be traversing through all the bits so the worst case time complexity is again uh, o of log n right so this is the uh, solution of the problem i hope you guys will like the explanation and showing you the code so the code is here you can see that i have the c++ code on the left hand side and java code and the python code on the right hand side so now i hope you guys have understood the solution if you guys like the explanation then you can hit the like button thank you